Hey, hello there, good morning fellow mathematician. Welcome back to another video. Didn't even see you there, totally, totally didn't see you. I, I didn't know that the camera was, was running. Just came from downstairs, got myself some Hagoromo Chakides. Hagoromo Chan, mmm, best to create this. It's an improvised session today. We're going to see if it's going to be a fun one, some Indian guy sent it to me. As always, people send stuff to me and I try to make something out of it, okay? And what we are going to do today is uh, exactly this. We have this power tower, so the infinite iteration of sine of x's, okay? And we want to differentiate this thing with respect to x. We are going to call it y for short and yeah, let's see where this is going. Have a calculator through it as an improvised session. But before we get into the main video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Wondershare, the creators of the wonderful PDF editor, Hi PDF, for sponsoring this video. Hi PDF is your all-in-one online PDF editing solution. No matter if you're on Mac, Windows or Linux, Hi PDF is there for your service as long as you have a browser available. Imagine it to be like an online version of PDF Element Pro that I have featured various times on my channel before, one of my most trusted apps ever. It really doesn't matter if you want to edit, review, protect, sign or convert PDF files. Hype PDF is an excellent PDF editor and converter that comes with a huge amount of features. Some of the features that I like to use regularly are the option to convert Word documents to PDF files and the ability to compress PDF files to smaller and smaller file sizes. The last one is especially useful if you can send bigger files via email for example and need to shrink them down a bit. If this feels like something for you, if you think you could benefit from such a great PDF editor, it's a really good one and it's a real strong and, and fast one, so even faster than PDF Element Pro, um, yeah, because it's an online version, then make sure to check out the link at the top of the description. You can try it out for completely free. Or if you click the second link, you can get 38% off. That's a weird percentage. <laughs> but it is what it is. 38% off, well, um, one month premium membership. So uh, try it out, support the channel this way and now we are going to dive into the main problem. This one right here, improvised thing. Um, it's an infinite tetration. I mean, uh, I have a certain clue how to solve this. At first, let's, um, let's rewrite this a little bit. I mean, for, for us infinite tetrations, you only really have to see for, what, for which values it actually converges. It converges for all x, if I'm not mistaken, because um, if you have an infinite power tower, for example, x to the x to the x, blah, 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 being equal to some, I don't know, y of x, then this thing converges if our x is um, less or equal to 1 over e, something like this, or less or equal, no, less or equal to the square root of e. And square root of e is more than 1, and this thing is bounded between... Uh, one and negative one, so it should converge for all x values. But don't take me for my word here, really doesn't matter. We are just going to um, rewrite it. So this part up here is exactly y yet again, it's an infinite power tower of sines. So we have sine to the y power, oh y for power, it's the y for power yet again. Mate, at first Hagoromo Chan this, best the y for, and now we have this y for here, that's, that's amazing. Now we would like to differentiate that. I mean, on the left hand side, it's pretty straightforward what the differential of y is. Um, it's just y prime. On the other side, we are going to get, well, ddx of sine to the y full power of x. Let me think for a second. Um, I have my coffee here. Um, Drinking it out of my good mythical morning cup, um, back when it was a good show, so like uh, five years prior to what it is now. I don't like good mythical morning anymore, I don't know. It's, it's... Since the guy, um, Link, Link changed his haircut, I don't know, it just went downhill because they had so many weird stuff going on with like um, mouth hygiene. Never mind, <laughs> that's not even the point of the um, video. What I was thinking is, um, Implicit differentiation would work here. I mean, we have an exponent that's with respect to the variable we are differentiating by. So, applying the natural log on both sides, but I think it should work either way. It really doesn't matter. I think implicit differentiation is just a better workaround. Um, we can make like implicit differentiation out of this by saying this is ddx of 
e to the y times the natural log of the sine of x. Um, I hope you can see where this came from, just rewriting it. Yeah, this is right. So this is y times the logarithm of the sine of x. That's an interesting function, log of sine of x, if you ask me. Um, now we need to see, yeah, ju just differentiate it, I suppose. So e to this stuff is going to be preserved. So e to this stuff is just sine to the y through power of x times, and now we have ddx of y times log of sine of x. Why am I so much better at writing log, like the logarithm here? If I write ln, it just looks like I'm, I'm spelling allow at bar in, in some way, okay? Um, maybe I should censor it. I don't know. I don't like being censored. Never mind. So, um, yeah, let's differentiate that. I mean, this is just kind of the chain rule and uh, product rule. So we have y prime times natural log, the logarithmus that advance of sine of x plus, okay, y is going to be preserved. Don't forget, y is nothing but sine to the y power, so our infinite power tower. Okay, um, so we have 1 over sine of x as the differential times the inner derivative, which is cosine. So this right here is the cotangent. Also, I don't want to forget dragging the sine to the y through power into here. Sine to the y power is the same as y. So um, yeah, let's let's write it out. Y prime at this point in time is nothing but so we are going to have y. So y prime times y times the logarithm of sine of x um, plus this is y squared then, right? So sine of y, y squared times the cotangent of x. Yeah, and now we are basically done, I suppose. Um, that was really short, you didn't expect that. Uh, I hope you can see it. Subtracting this term on both sides. Solving for y prime, this is where we want to get it. Dividing both sides by 1 minus y log sine of x. And then we are basically done and substituting um, our infinite power tower by y, and then we should be done. Ah, uh, this quarantine makes me go crazy. I mean, it's not really quarantine here in Germany. Quarantine, what, whatever you call it. Um, it's more of, yeah, just hanging around because I don't have anything to do. I don't have a job at the moment. <laughs> um, oh, kitty caddies, please stay by my side. My boys in close. So, um, let me write it out real quick by subtracting this on both sides y prime and then we have 1 minus y logarithm of sine of x. There's another bracket um, being equal to y squared cotangent of x. And now let us divide both sides by this. Let's resubstitute our expression for y and, and then we should be done. I mean, that's, that's not a big deal. Am I right? So y prime, what we are seeking is nothing but, okay, so we have sine to sine dot 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 um, squared overall, that is weird over 1 minus sine to the sine. Here, do you see that? Just, this is just Arabic stuff here. It's, it's not even a sign anymore. It's just an S with an L or a fricked up sigma. I don't know. No, oh, omega. Papa, why are you messing your Greek up? Sine of x. And this is it. I mean, who comes up with this? Just someone who wants to make clickbait stuff, I suppose. <laughs> If you put this into a YouTube video, this is just full clickbait. This is why I choose it. It seems simple and it, and it seems clickbait. So drawing some new viewers in after the hacking, all the views and whatnot went down big time. So I have to get some uh, views, subscribers back, shit like this. So yeah, um, this is the solution, I suppose. Just is what it is. What can you do? I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, recommend channel if you like. Don't forget to check out High PDF. It's a seriously good PDF editor, in my opinion. I mean, like I said before, it's even better than PDF Element Pro because it's a bit faster 
the PDF element pro and you can do all of this online so you can immediately download new files and whatnot so it's pretty great try it out by using the link at the top of the description you can try it out for free also other than that buy those t-shirts i created support channel on patreon become a member of the channel up until the next video i wish you guys a flam up new day ciao sieht aus Fight! Uh. Herein. <lacht>